I don't know how to start videos, so it's the final confrontation. Well, it's about to be. Well, you have to put the uh, symbols that you found all throughout nowhere in this door. So that's what I'm doing. This is a host commentary. I recorded this a while ago. A couple of uh, weeks ago, or maybe just one week, I don't know. But it was a lot later than when I recorded the rest of the Let's Play. Because the Bloodborne DLC came out and distracted me, and then I didn't really feel like continuing with it. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. Would have done it all myself. Mommy? So what exactly is going on in that cutscene? No one is really sure. And all these doors are locked. All you can do is go down the, uh, the stairs. But it seems there that Alessa is not evil and that Dahlia seems to be a little, uh, more conspicuous than usual, although she was always conspicuous, but this is really interesting, I think, just walking down that staircase into darkness. And some more darkness. Dahlia. Well, 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 to think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. is at hand. This is the day of reckoning when all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of
Hoffman. Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. Your work is over. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you could accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this. A glove with this! I thought I got rid of that! All I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all could have kept you busy. Ha! You're easy. And there's more where this came. What the? It appears the cult's god is Satan, or at least uh, the demon Baphomet. Well, I'm not sure if that is supposed to be Satan or not. I don't know that much about mythology. But he immediately kills Dahlia. I guess that just had to happen. Alright, time to take him out. Uh, helps to have your, your rifle equipped or to figure out which weapon is the rifle. Alright, this demon's going downtown. Or I could anticlimactically die from this first attack. It had been a long time since I had... Well, not been like a really long time. It had been a while since I had played the boss and you know, played the game at all. And I forgot how fast that attack just fucks you up. But... Yeah, uh... <clears throat> I actually think that might be the first time I ever died to that boss. That's the only time I died in the Let's Play. But yeah, basically this boss just floats around in the middle of the room. He doesn't even pursue you, as far as I can tell. So just run around and shoot him and, you know, heal. It's a very easy boss battle, even though I died, but that was just from carelessness. And the PS2 controller felt really weird holding it. It didn't feel so ergonomic suddenly. I guess I was used to the PS4 controller. With He'll hit you, one strike of lightning basically takes your health down to the red, so you just gotta heal instantly. And I'm paranoid here, because I just think I'm gonna die, or that I'm gonna run out of ammo, or whatever. But the reloading is flawed in this game. Sometimes you can get off like 12 shots and not have to reload. But it only holds 6. And most people... When I've seen their Let's Plays, I've seen a lot of Let's Plays in this game. When they shoot the boss, he's off camera. But if you just hold down a L2 and R2, the camera will turn where you can see him and, you know, you can shoot him. Visibly. The blood flies out and everything. Or, or you can do what I did where you hold the control stick the wrong way and shoot the air. And this took me longer than it normally does, I feel like. I don't know why I healed, I just, I was hearing like I was gonna die again, but yeah, this boss is cool for like his appearance, and it's cool that this god that, that Dahlia was talking about is in fact a demon, so the cult is evil, and you can also tell that Dahlia is the antagonist, the game has you thinking the whole time that Alessa is the antagonist, that Alessa is, you know, evil, 
as spreading the nightmare intentionally, whatever they say. It, it's, you know, kind of convoluted. And since I just know exactly what's going on, it's hard to know, like, which is uh, hidden in the dialogue and what isn't. But the game paints Alessa as evil and spreading the, uh, the mark of Samael. And that's Samael that, that you're fighting right now. When you can clearly see in the cutscene before that Alessa was being forced into doing something and Dahlia, in fact, wanted Samael to be burned. And you don't find out at the very end, although you can't really trust Dahlia. But it's interesting that you kill like a mythological demon with a hunting rifle. Also interesting that it has a female voice. Oh, it does have tits. And it turns back into Heavenly Alessa. Alessa is portrayed as heavenly. And obviously the demon is portrayed as hellish. And she's on the mark of Samael. On the graded floor. This is really good music. This really looks like the Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus. And I had no idea what to make of this ending when I first played this. And I hope I haven't been making my chair squeak this whole time. See, Alessa is not evil. It's just, The proof is in the pudding. She shows you the way out and basically gave you Cheryl just then. Because you never find Cheryl because Cheryl is Alessa. Alessa splits her soul in half to prevent death here. She also does it earlier in the story. Well, before the game even takes place. Everyone kind of disappears during the fight, but Kaufman's back. And Lisa apparently just crawls out of the grating floor. Why can't he fight her off? She looks like she's just like limply holding him. It's a disturbing scream. I always like that scream. So Harry's running away with baby Alessa. It's like, what does he really even... Does he think he has Cheryl? You know, like why did he accept the baby? But you know, Alessa just dies. And I really like this. I always liked escape sequences in video games and movies so much. And he gets out and he just runs back onto the street after killing a demon holding the newborn Alessa. And the game ends. And you get this, uh, this pretty cool music. I really like this music a lot. It kind of sounds confused and disillusioned, but also kind of has an air of things are going to be alright, but also has an air of uncertainty. And I don't know if that's what the musician was trying to portray at all, but that's what I get from it. So, the thick and hairy of the story is, as far as I understand it, that the cult that Dahlia is apparently the leader of is trying to find a way to birth their god, which was Samael. And the cult forces Alessa, because Alessa has some kind of power that can apparently birth the god. And what's going on in the cutscene where Dahlia is like trying to uh, get Alessa to do it, the, the exposition there, it, you know, it's supposed to be expository, but the exposition needs exposition. No one seems to be sure exactly of what's happening in that scene. But during the, uh, the ritual, Alessa splits her soul in half because the god cannot be birthed that way, and then somehow it's unsure. Because I believe it takes place in the basement, like the boiler explodes, burning Alessa, but it doesn't kill her. They keep her alive with medicine, you know, like 
in a hospital, Lisa takes care of her. You see it in the hospital scene with the ghostly memory. And as well as magic, and they use a magical spell to lure the other half of the soul back to Silent Hill, which is Cheryl. The other half of the soul is Cheryl. Harry finds it. Harry, well, Harry finds her, raises her as his own, and then the spell lures her back, and that's why they go to Silent Hill. So, Alessa, when when you come back, when Harry comes back to Silent Hill, Cheryl immediately gets out of the car, you know, and reunites with the Alessa's soul, and Alessa's, like, astral projection goes around with the seal of Metatron to try and stop the, uh, god from being birthed. And the seal of Metatron is actually the mark of Samael. And by doing that, she projects the nightmare onto the town, and I believe it's unintentionally. And that's where all the nightmares come from, the demons and everything, and the air raid sirens. So this is your final cutscene, just Harry looking around. I think he's gotten out of Silent Hill at this point, just looks up at you. It's like, well, now what the fuck do I do? I love stuff like this so much. Like, I love, like, hidden jokes in serious games, you know? And back before you could just find everything on the internet, this stuff actually was hidden. And Lisa just looks so fucking happy. It, and I like that it's, they do it like movie bloopers, you know? <laughs> like, they're all actors and you just get the goofy gag reel at the end. It really takes a lot of the tension out of the game, I feel like, which, you know, back in the day, or maybe if you're just really young playing this, this might have been really, uh, tense, and this would kind of make you relax a little bit. I always thought she looked like the girl that plays Xenia in GoldenEye, this Alessa right here. You never see her look like that in the game. It's only in the cutscenes. She's supposed to be like 13, she looks like 28. Oh, hello! <laughs> really fits his character because he's always slamming into walls and shit, and then he, he fucks up trying to do the dramatic wake up scene and falls off. Right, come on, how could you not love this guy? Yeah, I really like stuff like that. I like jokes and and serious games that are, like, hidden. You have to beat the game. But I just feel like some of the magic of those are completely gone with the internet just having everything. But when I play this game or watch recordings of myself playing it, I can relive it and pretend that technology never advanced. But anyway... Back to the, the story here, this game has confusing stories, yet unless they use the seal of Metatron or the talisman of Metatron, whatever, to attempt to uh, seal Silent Hill off from the rest of the world. And because she has the magical powers, or whatever the fuck, it brings the uh, nightmare she was experiencing to light and projects it onto the town. And the nightmare she was experiencing was from the god. Because while she was, like, burning alive and not healing, but staying alive, not getting worse enough to die, but, you know, physically really fucked up, she was also tortured mentally by the god, because I guess his seed had been implanted into her, but, by his fetus or whatever, but he, you know, he couldn't grow. But from torturing her, he became stronger. And at the end, Kaufman throws the Aglopitus which is the red liquid which you can use to save Sybil, which drives demons out. And, you know, it just forced uh, Samael out of her, like, prematurely, I'm thinking. I don't think that's the way she was supposed to birth the god, but... That's the story, and my stats here are pretty good. Was that, five and a half stars? Well, that's not very good, but... Only one continue, I got I did good on the items. Three hours and thirty-four minutes. That's not so bad. I've done it faster than that, but... That's it.